In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Marvel Rivals Error DirectX 12 is not supported on your system on PC. So this is the only way and this is the only tutorial you will ever have to watch, because other people may be saying that it's possible to fix it, however these are the only steps you have to take. If you cannot do this and if this does not work for you, then most likely you will not be able to play the game, unfortunately due to your computer specifications. So follow along, there's only 3 steps to this and we're gonna try it out. So the first thing you want to do is check if your DirectX 12 is installed in your computer. And then the way you can do this is by simply searching for DXDIAG over here in the Windows search bar, opening it up, and then this will open up this kind of pop-up menu in a second, there we go. And then you want to look for the DirectX version, and if it says DirectX 12, that's great, that's all we need to know. If it doesn't, the issue probably lies here and you'll have to get yourself DirectX 12 that's either in your graphics card or you will have to install DirectX 12 for your current graphics card in case that's possible. You can Google it if it supports it and if it does, you can install it from there. So once you have DirectX 12, what you want to do is move the game to another drive and preferably this is not an external drive. So let me show you how you can actually do this. Now. You can simply move it inside of your uh, computer because this will not work. You have to uninstall the game entirely and install it again to another drive. So I just launched up Steam so I'll be able to show you. There we go in a second over here. Once Steam launches up we're gonna first uninstall the game and then reinstall it to a different drive. So for example if you have it in your D drive or whatever external drive you may have, make sure you install the game to your C drive and you can do this by going to library, looking for your game in here, clicking this gear icon first, clicking manage over here or just hovering over it and then clicking uninstall. This will completely erase the game from your computer and once that's done you want to click install yet again and then make sure you select over here on this list, you select another drive, not the one you had it installed on previously. So in case you only have the C drive, you likely had it on your C drive. However, if you had it on let's say D, E or whatever else you may have, make sure you install it to your Windows SSD C. So essentially the same SSD Windows is installed on and your main SSD that is internal at came and cam came with your computer. So that's the first thing you can try doing and then once that's installed, try launching up the game and seeing if that fixed the issue. Now we're gonna have the second thing over here which is to go to graphics settings and make sure your game is running on your dedicated GPU. So what I mean by this is very simple. You wanna go to the search bar down here, look for graphics settings, this one over here, click on it, find your game in here, look for Marvel Rivals and then once you find it, click on it and press options. It will give you this graphics preference screen over here and make sure you uncheck this where it says let Windows decide, we do not want to do this, we want to make sure you put it on high performance and it says GPU, for me I've got Nvidia GeForce RTX 3050 laptop GPU, for me, for you it may be different so you may have anything else, however make sure you select the one where it says your uh, essentially your dedicated graphics card for your computer. So this one is my integrated graphics card and this one is my dedicated graphics card made purely for gaming because this is a gaming laptop. So you want to click this and then press save and we're good to go. Now the next step would be to try running the game using not DX12 command line, however we want to do it DX11 and we're gonna do this right now, okay? So I'm gonna just copy this we're gonna go to Steam, Library, yet again, open up your game over here, so click on it, then right click, press Properties, and in here you'll have Launch Options under the General tab. In here you wanna type dash, so this kind of minus line, DX11, okay? Then simply close this down and then try running it that way. Now if that doesn't work for you, you can try opening that up again and deleting this and opening up the game yet again. So these are the only three fixes you need. What you can also do is try updating your game, your drivers for your uh, graphics card, which can be done if you have NVIDIA, you can do it by the NVIDIA app or just look for your drivers online. Or for AMD, you can do it using AMD Adrenaline or simply just finding drivers online, installing them and downloading them to your computer. Now, 
What's also very important here, and many people miss out, is that if you only have an integrated graphics card and no dedicated, okay, so dedicated graphics card, if you do not have a dedicated graphics card, you can't play this and many other games which require an actual graphics card. And unfortunately for you, in case you are in this situation, more and more games nowadays actually do require an external, so a not external, but dedicated graphics card to be able to play it. So in case you only have, for example, Intel or AMD without a dedicated graphics card, you may be in trouble here. And we're going to check how you can see this. So you want to do is go down here to the search box, type in device manager and open this up. And then in here, just ignore this message. You want to look for display adapters. Extend this, double clicking it or clicking this arrow button over here and see if you have two graphics cards. So I have two, as you can see, this one is my integrated. So it came with the um, laptop itself. It's within the laptop. However, this one is GeForce RTX from NVIDIA 350, as you can see, laptop GPU, which also did come with the computer and it's also inside it. However, it is a dedicated graphics card to play games. So in case you only have one of these over here, and for example, most computers have, if they only have the integrated graphics card, they usually have Intel or AMD. So in case you only have this, then unfortunately, 99% you won't be able to play it. You can still try doing these steps. However, you likely will not be able to play the game and you're gonna need a, either a new PC, you're gonna have to launch up, for example, GeForce Now and play uh, via the cloud gaming services or uh, simply get a new graphics card or new computer. So that's your best bet and the only option you have, unfortunately. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out and if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.